just have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. So welcome to the New Year's edition of Coffee Time. But I'm without my coffee, I already drank it. As usual on Coffee Time, I've got a number of short topics to cover. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the list. First, I'm going to go over the video plans for the first part of this new year. It will be season seven, kicking off after the first. Second thing I want to cover, and I want to give it some justice this time, is thank yous to all the supporters, the people that support the channel. Third, I'm going to explain how you can get subtitles so I don't have to do it. Fourth, you all had a quick introduction uh, just before Christmas of my niece. And last, I'm going to cover my possible return to Cuenca. So let's get to it. Okay, next video you see will be season seven. We covered 40 videos in the last season from Manizales to finding a place to live in Armenia and a lot of the quick things about Armenia. We're going to go into depth in season seven into Armenia. There will be a few videos about specific requests that people have made about something that they want to see. Primarily season seven will be going out to the towns around Armenia to the coffee region itself. So Montenegro, Circassia, Finlandia, we'll be seeing some of these places. Also in season seven, I would like to do more Q&As. I get requests for it and it never seems to work it in because I've always got three or four videos in the can waiting. This season, I really want to make a concerted effort to do more Q&As. I'd like to do at least three or four videos on Q&As over the course of that season. What is the season? Depends on how many videos I do. Anywhere from three to six months, typically. So I would like you to be more involved this season. I appreciate the comments, the emails that I get. Uh, they've been exponentially increasing. It's great. But if you've got some questions or if you've got something in particular you would like to see, now's the time to let me know. Okay. I have to really put out a thank you. This is not a sob story, but just quickly, uh, my situation changed um, last year in Cuenca. A lot of the income that I had kind of vanished and dried up. It's not for me. I have enough money to live on. But the channel has really taken a little bit of a hit. I can't subsidize it anymore. So what happens? I set up, actually by request, a GoFundMe account. I've had a Patreon account for quite a while. I need to thank the people that are doing that, and if you ever run into them, you can thank them, although most of them want to remain anonymous, because they're the reason I can continue to do these videos. They're the reason I can go out to local towns. They're basically footing the bill, and it isn't just monetary through GoFundMe or monetary through uh, Patreon. It's also one person in particular, William David, leave off the full name. He was a lifesaver with that laptop and the video stabilizer. There are two key things I've needed for as long as I've been doing these videos. I now have them. It's, it's making a big difference on this side of the camera. I hope you begin to see it as I do the travels on the local communities that really should stand out there. So if you haven't and you're so inclined, if you find value, if you find use out of these videos, I doubt you're going to find entertainment because I'm just not an entertaining kind of guy. But if you find value in the information of these videos, contribute of course uh, through subscribing and sending messages. But please do consider the GoFundMe account, which is more for projects, or the Patreon account, which supports the day-to-day. -day. I appreciate it immensely. It, it is what is supporting this channel at this point. Can't depend on YouTube anymore. I'm, I mean, almost every video I put up gets demonetized, which means they find a reason not to pay you anything. 
and so it's it's almost a joke the amount of money that comes out of there so if we're going to fund the channel it's got to be through these other means and those who have i can't thank you enough and those who will i really appreciate it now i mentioned subtitles and i had a lot of requests to do subtitles but i'm scratching my head why because the videos are for English speakers. They're for people that are not living in Colombia, not living in Ecuador, wherever. They're for people that are pretty much living in North America. I have viewers in Australia and in Europe, but pretty much in North America who are considering vacationing or living in Ecuador or Colombia. And they're English speakers. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to subtitle them. However, if you look at your YouTube and you'll see the little gear for the settings on the video, the same place you can, it's right next to where you can set the standard of quality. You can 420 or 480, 720 HD. You'll see the little gear and in there you can see subtitles. And you can select in Spanish, you can select it in English. And what it'll do is on that particular video, you have to do it each time, but on that particular video, you'll see the words that I'm speaking or whatever is going on, if it's an interview, in English. And then you'll also, if you choose Spanish, you'll see it in Spanish. So subtitles are kind of built in. They're the same type of subtitles you'll see on TV news shows. So there'll be errors in words now and then, maybe if somebody doesn't pronounce clearly, if I don't pronounce something clearly, it might kick up some weird word, but you'll get the gist of it. it I've checked it out, it functions pretty good. Now most of you watching this video, you got a quick introduction to my niece, I'll, it's my ex-wife's family who have pretty much a, at, by this point adopted me which is fine it's good to have you know local people but she was here for a couple days checking out the schools if you haven't seen those videos go back over the last couple the Christmas one she was in it almost featured I did that video uh, those video clips up about her for her mother to see they weren't uh, as one person suggested some romantic clip that I put together it wasn't at all it's for the daughter for her mother it's just she was there with me as i'm doing the christmas video why wouldn't i do something like that so get your mind out of the gutter but she'll be returning at least at least tentatively that's the plan for her to return uh, she'll be coming sometime in the next week and best i know she'll be here for a couple weeks her mother will be coming and the purpose of her coming, she's going to be helping me with a video. She, she's, she can't get into school yet. She has to wait for the next semester. She's got nothing to do and she has interest. I could use help. It, it'll make a big difference as I go to these local towns. So I've agreed and that's what we're going to be doing. So you'll be seeing her in some videos. She doesn't speak a word of English good for me gets to practice my Spanish as if every day I didn't get to practice it but she's a very nice person and uh, you'll be seeing more of her the last thing I'm going to cover in this coffee time I may be returning to Cuenca yeah I said it I may be returning to Cuenca <laughs> for a couple days I can't live in Cuenca go back and see the altitude uh, video I, I like Cuenca and I really miss some people there a lot Audrey and Sandy who lived with me for about six months I miss them but I have to go back as some of you know I'm the vice president of a foundation San Martin foundation in Cuenca that foundation helps get kids off the streets kids that are out selling gum and candy not going to school because of financial problems grow up living in the streets grow up going into crime this foundation gets them off the streets it gets them back into school it get pays for their school supply transportation of school 
the supplies that they need so that they don't have to go out and work the streets. Being vice president, every now and then my signature is required. There's some documents that are waiting for me that have to be done sometime before February or early part of February. My tentative plan is to return around the 21st or 22nd of January. Now, it depends financially on when I can go, but that's my tentative plan. So if you need any videos about going to Cuenca, any of the towns before I get to Cuenca, uh, let me know, give me lots of warning, and I'll see what I can do. On the way back, I will probably be getting off the bus for a day in Pasto. Pasto is in Colombia, but it's for all the world like an Ecuador town or city. And I will explain that when I do that video. So that's it for coffee time. I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you have a great New Year. Again, thank you all for watching, for supporting. I know there's some videos that some of you are not happy with. I know that there's some videos that some of you are ecstatic over. You know what, that's the luck of the draw. I don't put any videos out with the intention of getting people aggravated, but sometimes truth hurts. I will say one thing. If you're going to get upset or outraged over a video, at least watch the whole thing. On this last video I put out, I had a number of people get really aggravated. When I go back and check the stats, none of them watched the entire video. At least the ones that commented to me. None of them watched the entire video. They didn't even watch half of the video. So you didn't even get to the point. And the point was a good, valid point. And if you had actually watched it, you probably would have agreed at least with what I was trying to say. I know some of you may have found offensive the way I put it, but it was done that way for a purpose, not to insult anybody, but so that you could feel what it's like for people on this side in Colombia when those things are constantly said about them. So whatever heartburn you had over it, think if you were from here and you had to hear that constantly and you had to have people believe that of you. That was the point of that title. Anyway, it's actually turning into a pretty popular video and I hope people take the message that was in that video to heart. That's it for this coffee time. That's it for this year, 2018, closing down. Right now, it's the 31st. Tomorrow we start a brand new year. Let's hope it's a good one for all of us. We'll see you later. Primarily Stevens, season, primarily Stevens.